To balance this equation, we have Al plus NiBr2, aluminum plus nickel 2 bromide. So to balance it, we need to count the atoms up on both sides. We have one aluminum, one nickel, and two bromine atoms. Product side, we have the one aluminum, we have one nickel, three bromine atoms. And the challenge here is that we have this odd number, this three, and then we have an even number. So the best way to deal with this is get this to be an even number. So I'm going to put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum bromide. One times two. So I have two aluminum atoms, but three times two, that'll give me six bromine atoms. Now I can just put a three in front of the nickel two bromide, the NiBr2. One times three, I have three nickel atoms, but this two times three, now the bromines are balanced and it's pretty easy to finish up here. I have three nickels on the reactant side, one on the product. I'll put a three here as my coefficient, one times three. Those are balanced. For the aluminum, I need two. Coefficient of two, one times two, that equals two. We're done. This equation is balanced. The trick again, if we have this odd number here, often you can multiply the whole thing by a coefficient of two, get it to be an even number, and things kind of fall into place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus NiBr2. Thanks for watching.